let me ask you something. Does this piece of fried chicken look like same as KFC chicken fry or not? Hello everyone and welcome to Bubli's World Cuisine. Today I'm going to share with you my very favorite KFC style Zinger burger recipe. This recipe makes burgers similar as KFC. I won't say exactly the same. No one can make the same. But it's very flavorful and I'm sure you're going to like it. So let's start with the chicken. Here I have one kilo of boneless chicken thigh. Well, you can use chicken breast for the recipe, but I find chicken thigh are much more flavorful and juicy. First, I'm going to prepare it. Now, I'm using a cling film to put the chicken pieces inside so there is no mess and I can keep my kitchen germ free. I'm using a meat pounder. Using this tool really helps your chicken to get cooked from all the sides and it won't be hard. Don't skip this step. It's very important to keep your chicken really nice and tender. Now let's prepare the marinade for it. It's just a mixture of spices which I'm going to apply on the chicken. For that I'm using some salt, red chili powder, paprika powder, ginger and garlic powder, mustard powder, black pepper powder. There is a lot of powder in it and all of these um, spices will uh, give the chicken peas very nice flavor. And everyone knows uh, uh, KFC chicken is all about using a lot of spices on them. Okay, so once you have mixed all the um, powdered spices, now let's put it on the chicken. Everything goes in the chicken and now uh, you want to mix it in. The best way to do is, is to use your hand, but for videos, I think it looks much more nicer when you don't use your hand on raw chicken. Anyways, now I'm adding half a lemon juice and this will help your chicken get really tender. You want to marinate it for at least two hours and I have done it many times with just two hours marinade but if you want to keep it for longer do that. Now we are preparing another mixture. For that I'm going to take quarter cup of corn flour and quarter cup of all-purpose flour. To that I'm going to add a lot of spices again. Now KFC style um, chicken fry and zinger burger fillets all of these have flavors in different layers of them. This one is the coating that we are going to dip the chickens in and you want to nicely make it with lots of spices. Finally, I have added around half a cup of milk. I tend to use whole milk, but you can go with your preference. The batter should look something like this, not too runny and not too thick. Now we are going to set it aside and prepare another coating and this is just plain flour. Now you might need a, a little more than one cup. You might need one and a half cup. It all depends. Now let's move on to frying. What you want to do is put a pan on your stove and put enough oil so that all your chicken pieces can sink in very nicely and that's crucial. We have everything ready and chicken was marinating for uh, three four hours and here i have uh, some very cold water first i'm dipping chicken pieces in the liquid marinade which i prepared just now and you want to make sure that everything drips off from the peas very nicely then you want to put it on the flour now this is just plain flour and i haven't put any spices on them you want to make sure that you coat it really well. Okay, this is our first coating. And after you coat it, shake off excess flour. And then you, you will put it on cold water. Now, having cold water is very important because uh, it will make your chicken pieces really crispy. After dipping it in cold water, again, I'm flour coating it, the plain flour. And then it will be done. Now, I always like to heat up my oil beforehand because after you are done with this step, you want to put them in hot oil straight away. If you keep them in a pan, they will just uh, become soggy. I like to dip it on one side and then put it on another side. It takes around five minutes for it to cook completely and uh, you want to turn it in the middle. So around two minutes or three minutes time, you want to turn it. 
once it's done shake off excess oil and then you want to put it on a rag now here's a tip if you put it on kitchen towel it will become soggy very quickly whereas if you put it on a rack it's gonna stay crispy for very long i recorded the sound but unfortunately that didn't get recorded properly anyways it's really crispy now i'm going to prepare the burger just stack it up so i'm using regular bun and excuse my mayonnaise so a layer of mayonnaise and then you put uh, lettuces and then the crispy zinger filet burger goes on top a little bit more mayonnaise and obviously some sort of chili sauce because that zinger burger is all about and now my burger is all ready i forgot to put a piece of cheese there excuse me for that as well thank you very much for watching my video if you try it and like it please share it with me thank you all for watching